Steve, culture is a big part of successful teams. How do you try to instill culture in your teams? Uh, what's the most difficult part and what do you do when it's not successful? Well, I, I, I think it, you know, it's the, the obvious thing is it really comes down to people. And who are the people that you're supporting for admission? And they, they, you want those people to be people who love the sport deeply. Yeah. It's not work. Yeah. They love it. Yeah. They enjoy it. And they have the capacity to work with other people. I mean, w the, another, another word that I'd use uh, in this relationship, which seems, how would you call it, almost flip, it's got to be fun. Yeah. It's got to be fun. And if you now, if you look at the energy in that Yale Boathouse, uh, you know, over these past five or six years, it's wonderful. Today is a, is a perfect example of, of uh, that, that way or that element, that culture. You know, we had five recruits on campus. We interview them, or at the end of that 48-hour process, we bring them to the armor room in Davenport, and yeah. we ask them if they have any questions and thoughts and how the weekend was, and to the man, they said they were just really drawn to the spirit of the group. They said during practice, the energy, how they bond after practice, and it's just they're working their butts off, and at the same time, there's a lightness to it and a good energy to it. How do you bring it about? Attract people of that nature, and that's what we did. You don't change. When people talk about a change of culture, it's rare in my experience, that that culture has changed without a significant change in, in, in the uh, people. Steve, leadership is critical. Uh, it's critical on a rowing team. You've been involved in many different universities where I'm sure the selection for captain each year has been different. Any thoughts you have on the, the best selection process, and which, which has resulted in the best captain selections on a consistent basis? At most of the places that I've coached, the captain has played a very, very, very small role. Yale, it's very different. And I think that's just a tradition that exists at Yale throughout all their athletic programs. Uh, in fact, the, that subject came up in a, our first head coaches meeting uh, three days ago. Uh, Yes, at Yale, it's, it's, an it's an important piece, and uh, a good captain, you know, can certainly, how would you call it, uh, expedite or enhance a good culture. Yeah. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, and I must say, the last, this is sort of on a personal level, the last couple of years, at, uh, three years at Yale, it's been extraordinary, with Rob Hearn, uh, Paul Jaco, uh and Schulte Carnegie, yeah, yeah ab absolutely exceptional. But basically, it's the energy of the group. Yeah. It's individual energy, and very often the energy is coming from people that are not, the, you know, not necessarily the captain. 